Hi, it's Bob Baker here. I just want to take a couple of quick minutes and talk to you about a pretty cool idea that could very well boost your music career in quite unexpected ways. And what I'm talking about here is the concept of a music marketing mastermind group. Now, uh, hopefully you're familiar with this term, mastermind group. It's been around for a number of decades. If not, if it's a new concept to you, don't worry. It's not some kind of a secret society. You know, learn the handshake and secret code to get access. Nothing like that at all. Basically, what a mastermind group is, is it's a group of like-minded people that meet on a regular basis, either in person or by phone in a conference call, to discuss a specific topic. Mastermind groups exist for all purposes. But what I'm talking about here is specifically a music marketing mastermind group for serious musicians who are just looking for better ways to promote themselves, to get their name out there, to make an impact and make a difference with their music. Now here's why mastermind groups are so cool. Um, in your day-to-day -day life, there's probably a group of people that you normally hang out with. It's your family, it's your, your friends, your kids, your parents, the people that you're in a band with. And hopefully you're inspired by all of those people, but quite often a lot of the people that you spend the most time with either are indifferent to what you're doing or they sometimes may even put up obstacles. For instance, have you ever heard someone say, don't quit your day job? Or perhaps, uh, why don't you get something to fall back on, just in case this music career thing doesn't work out. Now, these people, they have good intentions. They're well-meaning. Um, but the thing is, they're not really empowering you to reach higher levels of success with your music. So what a mastermind does is it gathers together a group of positive, upbeat, uh, upwardly aspirational people that are pursuing the same basic kinds of things that you are. And by getting together, you exchange ideas, you inspire one another, you motivate one another, you exchange exchange contact information, so on and so forth. So if you're hanging around with people, other musicians, whatever, they're telling you how bad the music scene is and how lousy the economy is, blah, 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 um, you're probably not in the most empowered place to boost your own personal career. So I hope that you get by now what a mastermind uh, is, what a group like that, how it can serve you. And so I've thought about this over the years of how it'd be cool to create one for some of my readers and the people who've been following me online for many years. And for the first time recently, I offered it, I just threw it out there. I didn't know what kind of a response I would get. Uh, and I limited it to 10 people. And uh, I'll tell you what, the response was great. All 10 slots sold out. Um, had an amazing time with it. The people uh, in the group, a lot of them had really great breakthroughs and, and took some actions. It was re really neat to see over a four-week period some of the progress that they that they made just from being part of the, uh, the uh, group. So that went so well that I decided to offer it again. And so hopefully you're watching it on the page uh, that has information a, about it. But if you look below, you'll see the dates that I have selected to do four weeks in a row. We will meet for 90 minutes by phone. It's a conference call. Each weekly call has a topic and I'll sort of teach a little bit. Uh, and then I open it up for discussion and to see how we can apply the ideas, the topic of each week, to the particular situation that each of the mastermind people are in. And then at the end of it, I ask everyone to commit to doing some action, no matter how small, it doesn't have to be earth shaking, don't worry, there's not gonna be a lot of pressure on you, but I just want you to take action based on the ideas that we talk about. Then when we meet the next week, we go around the horn and everyone reports on what's new and good in their world and what progress they made since the last call. I go into the next lesson, the topic of that week, and then we open it up for discussion, brainstorming, and helping each other. And it's a really cool concept. There are a couple other perks to being part of the mastermind group. One thing is I create a private group on Facebook where all of us can continue the discussions outside of the weekly calls. And I uh, ask you to, to initially uh, post an introduction message there. And I post also uh, the audio links. Every week I record the 90-minute calls and make them available to you to listen to later. And you could share them with a, you know, a small circle of friends. I don't mind that. In addition, I will also give you some resources not widely or publicly available on my website, uh, some things that reinforce the messages each week. And so I'm not going to tell you exactly what those are, but I'm sure you're going to like them. So what happens is each week before the call, I will email you a PDF file, which is basically a handout or a worksheet for that week. And here are some that I used for the last session that I did. Uh, the first week, the topic is find your ideal fans and the music tribes that will support you until we talk a little, lot about niche marketing and targeting. 
And there's actually two ways that I recommend that you look at your potential audience and the way to, to slice and dice them so that you can uh, zero in on just the people who will be the most likely to be attracted to your music and, and, and reward you with their time, their attention, of course, their money. In week two, we talk about how to use publicity techniques to get exposure in both traditional and new media, online and off. For 10 years, I was the editor-publisher of a local music magazine in my hometown of St. Louis, Missouri, and I learned a ton about being part of the media, and I used that also to get a lot of media exposure for myself. So even though the landscape of publicity is changing, the way that you pitch yourself to editors and writers and, and radio talk show hosts and producers and so on, uh, the way you do that can be very effective not only in getting media but also in helping you uh, communicate through social networking and, and, and specific niche groups of people. So we apply publicity concepts to sort of an overall marketing strategy and that happens in week two. Session three is a good one called Buzz and Word of Mouth Marketing, creating promotional vehicles and ideas that spread. And so even though there's no way to guarantee creating a viral marketing sensation like the uh, treadmill video that OK Go did a few years ago, there are some certain principles to ideas that spread that we cover in here, including the five stages of adaptation, which if you've ever heard the term uh, early adopters, that's just actually one of the five stages. We talk about some aspects of buzz and word of mouth marketing, and again, how to apply it to your particular genre, your particular artist or songs, music, your situation. And then in week four, this is really an important one. I call this out of the box thinking and playing a much bigger game. Um, a lot of times I think even though we're making strides with our music and we're keeping positive and all that, quite often we have these self-imposed limits that sort of keep us uh, in a box, if you will. And I do this myself. Uh, even with all the books I've published and the success that I had, I honestly realize that there are certain limitations that I place on myself that when I really think about it, it's like, you know what, I could be doing a lot more than what I give myself credit for. And so I think you can probably fall in that boat at times too. So we talk about breaking through those obstacles and how to really take your career up to a next le level and just break out of that little box that you've created for yourself. So there are a lot more details on the page below. Uh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube or somewhere other than my website, you can get to that page by going to Music Success Coaching. Dot com. That's musicsuccesscoaching.com. And on the page, you will find the dates of the next mastermind group. I do them four uh, weeks in a row, the same date and time of the uh, week. And then at the end of it, I give you the option to continue with a monthly sort of ongoing mastermind group plan. So I have benefited greatly over the years from taking part in different mastermind groups at different times. The people that have taken uh, the music marketing, brainstorming, and mastermind uh, group that I'm offering have benefited from it, and I think that you can too. It's limited to 10 people. It's on a first-come, first-served basis. Look below for the details, the pricing, and all that good stuff, and I hope you can join us and raise your career up to the next level. In the meantime, I wish you happiness and success. I'm Bob Baker. Talk to you later. Bye.